Pierce at the ranch cleaning up a dirty job. I want to share this idea with you. This is our septic system. If you guys live in town and you have a sanitary sewer system through the municipality, this won't mean a whole lot to you. But if you're in the country and you have a septic system, as most country people do, then maybe there'll be something in this video that's worth it to you. Uh, I, you can't see our septic system, it's down here. One lid is there, one lid is over there, and we just had it pumped out, but I had to make a repair. And I did it myself and saved a whole lot of money. Let me explain what happened and what we did to repair. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, here we are looking at a typical septic system. This is very much like our own septic system. Just briefly, uh, uh, you know, there's lots of places on YouTube where you can learn about how a septic system work, works. But just briefly, let me explain very quickly what we have. Underground, there's a large concrete box, uh, about a thousand gallons. They're typically 600 to a thousand gallon box, one big box. Now that box is split right in the middle with a wall right here center baffle it's called that center baffle goes to the bottom it's a solid cement wall it does not quite go to the top there's a bit of room at the top in case the first chamber this chamber overflows you can go over the top shouldn't do that but it can do and then about halfway up there's a fairly large hole a four to six inch hole through the middle of that wall just a round hole four to six inches in diameter now each of these two chambers chamber one the main chamber has an opening to the surface you saw that underneath the ground that i was raking and the second chamber chamber number two we'll call it has an opening as well so each chamber can be opened and cleaned uh, every four to five years, he's up here called the, the, the septic cleaner guy, and he comes out and uses a big vacuum tube is what he uses. It's like a, it's like a vacuum cleaner. He sticks it down through those lids and sucks all the sludge out of the bottom. You can see that the sludge down here, this brown stuff, I don't need to explain what that is. It's sludge. They call it sludge. Now, the way it works is simple. It's the the, the, uh, the uh, sewage comes out of your house through this pipe and pours into this first chamber. As a portion of the first chamber, over a period of time, the sludge, the heavy stuff, sinks to the bottom. Light stuff, grease and uh, soap and foamy stuff goes to the top. That's called scum. So you have sludge and you have scum. In the middle, you have fairly clear water. This is the clear water that the bacteria have been working on and, and they've actually cleaned it up pretty well. No, it's not drinkable, but it's actually pretty clear, pretty clean water. And that's what you want to get rid of. You want that to go out and, and as it builds up, it goes through that opening in the center baffle and it comes out here and it goes out through the baffle at the end of the tank and goes out into your septic system. So that's a basic idea of how a, a septic system works. Now this septic system is a little different. It only has one tank. One lid, one tank. It's not the same as ours at all and not all that common. But I wanted to show you this because right here, you can see the baffle that we had a problem with. You can see that the baffle in here is, is better represented. It, it's, it's actually a concrete box, if you like. Open at the bottom, open at the top. But a three-sided box that's stuck on the side, inside wall of, of the septic system. And, and, uh, and here's the outlet. To the uh, to the septic bed. Now, the, the the purpose of this baffle is very simple. We don't want this scum layer, all this grease and junk, to go out that pipe. We don't want the the uh, sediment, the sludge at the bottom, to go out this pipe. All we want to go out the pipe is this liquid layer, this clear stuff. Well, that's all we want. So this baffle keeps the, the scum out, keeps the sludge out, and as you can see, it only lets the nice, clean, clear blue water out. I say that advisedly, clean, clear, you know what I mean? And that's all it does. So that's all the baffle does. It just stops the sludge and the scum from getting into the outlet pipe and allows only the blue water. And on our particular tank, when we opened it, we discovered that that outlet baffle, that cement baffle box, if you like, on the inside there was broken badly broken, corroded the way, and so it wasn't doing its job. There was probably some scum that was getting through and into the pipe, and that'll, that'll plug up the, uh, the, uh, the septic bed. It's not good at all. What did we do? Well, what happened was that, first of all, I asked the guy who was doing the septic system, because they're septic experts, if they could fix that for us. Oh, yeah, they sure they would. And he gave me a quote that he would fix it for about $400. Well, you know, $400 isn't the end of the world, but I'm an awfully handy guy, as you know, and $400 is $400, you know, a buck is a buck. And so I decided, well, let me see if I can do it. If he can do it, then I can probably do it. And I went online, and I found a several neat ideas. Now, this particular tank does represent ours, but many other tanks don't have that 
concrete box, that outlet baffle that is molded right on. A lot of them simply have pipe. So I simply stole an idea from them, and here's what I did. Okay, now here's my own rough little drawing of our septic system. You see it's very similar to the first one I showed you. It's a cement box and underground with a lid on it. There's that center baffle. It was in good shape solid wall almost to the very top little gap up there and a fairly large hole in the middle and then this is the outlet now, i've tried to show in here the old cement outlet baffle which is kind of badly broken and then the pipe to the bed and what have i done well right here and this is a fairly common maybe your septic tank has this instead of having a cement baffle in there the there's a t made of that same three inch sewer pipe a T fastened onto the outlet pipe with a short extension on top going up to near the top of the uh, of the tank to keep the scum out and then a little longer extension that goes down to about the middle a little below the middle of the tank so that this bottom hole here is in that clear liquid so only clear liquid can go out the sludge down in the bottom can't get out and the scum on the top can't get out. So that's all I did. And here's what it looked like. This is our tank. So you can see the big square at the top where the lid fits. Uh, it seals, you know, pretty securely around here. The lid, heavy cement the lid sits on there and seals. And then down inside. Now, you can't see the bottom of the tank here, but you can see this concrete three-sided baffle that is part of the wall of the tank and I was all busted and broken down well I took a sledge to it and broke off some more and then all I did was attach a T here's the T I attached the T to that outlet pipe I put a short piece about a six to eight inch piece of pipe on top of it and then I put a longer piece probably about 14 15 16 inches long so this piece of pipe at the bottom reaches down into the clear liquid now as the septic tank fills Sludge stays in the bottom, scum rises to the top, and this pipe will be in the clear liquid. It'll come up and go out into the septic bed. No scum, no sludge, just that simple. And I think altogether I spent, well, I had some pipe laying around. I had to buy a tea. I think it cost me six bucks. So instead of $400, let's, let's call it $10 with tax. So instead of $400, it cost me 10 bucks. That wasn't the nicest job in the world, but surprisingly, uh, it wasn't all that bad. My wife helped a great deal, and we saved a whole lot of money. I hope there's something in there that helps you a little bit, an idea, and uh, maybe it'll save you some time and some money. Septic tank has disappeared. I'll put some uh, grass seed on this. In the spring, it'll be part of the lawn, and uh, I won't see it again for another 45 years. I hope there was an idea in there, some thoughts in there, some information that might be valuable to you. See you soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch.